Hey everyone, welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel. Today we are going to take a closer look what Aristea, the ultimate sports show, holds. So let's get down to the table and I can show you. Okay, so let's open the box and see what's inside. First of all, you get a bunch of cards and these are some foiled. I got an Essen. I think these were like promo or something like that. But I just use regular cards. And what you get here, I divided them for each character. Each character has its own bag, so I decided to do it like so. So when you draft, you get cards for each character. And let me just show you artwork on one of these characters. I will not go through all the cards, but the artwork is really nice. It's uh, in the same universe as Infinity, the game. And so this is your card to activate your hero. You will play it like face down and then reveal it and say, ah, oh, this guy is going to smack your ass. And this guy looks really cool. It's really awesome. So basically, let me just try and show it a bit closer to you. So uh, this is your stat card for Maximus, that miniature, that guy, and what he can do and his statistics, attack, defense, and move and whatnot. And these are some cards that come with him and you form a deck with these cards, not all of these, you pick some of these, you can't take all. And you get some uh, normal cards that each player gets. And that's that. That's the cards you get in this game. And we'll go over the miniatures last. So then we have a bunch of tokens. These tokens just represent who's the first player and if some statuses are going on, like if someone is stunned or something like this. And these are also used for that. They are really cool, thick cardboard with nice, that glossy look on it. And there's wound markers so you can track your wounds and if your character is dead or something like that. They cannot die, they just go into infirmary and then come back with less health, you have to heal them and whatnot. And some other markers and status symbols. And then we have these gorgeous, gorgeous dice. These are really nice plastic dice that are, as you can see, custom. So you get, uh, let me show them a bit closer, if I can, oh yeah, I can. So you get like these attack and defense and these, uh, qu uh, not question marks, but exclamation marks help you activate abilities on cards. As you can see, there are some uh, abilities that you get to activate when it, he attacks and these are really nice cool looking dice and I wish there were more of these there were times when we lacked a few dice so we needed some more but it's okay that's not some extra uh, ziplock bags that I have and miniatures I'll show you the miniatures last first let me show you the map so uh, these are just your player boards. You put this and the map, the player board goes here. Um, I mean the map goes here and these are, the, these are the player boards. So you can play either as green or as an orange player, which doesn't matter that much. And what you get here is here you put those small cards that I show you. So in which order you will activate one of your four guys or girls. And this is here to track your energy. You have five energy to spend with each character. And this is how much movement they have and how much movement you spent already because you can do some actions while moving. And then you can uh, over here when they go, uh, when your um, miniature is uh, not killed, but uh, wounded and goes into infirmary, it goes here, then it goes here and then it comes back in a play. As you can see, there are some arrows pointing you to know what you do and this is everything the same but just for a green player and then you have your player board which has two sides you have this one and you have this one and they are different for each scenario you would want to use this side or this side the scenario tells you which side you use and they have some different obstacles and what can you do uh, uh, and what can you see or not in a game and then we have some aristea reference guide so 
This reference guide just goes into very, very into details and examples of uh, uh, when uh, what the blocked space mean. And there is lots of explanation. If you are ever in a doubt, can you see through it or not? This r little rule book explains it all. But basically, everything you need for a game is really just this quick reference sheet over here. That's all you need to play the game. It's really in small letters, but it's that here you can find everything you need for a great game of Aristea. Uh, what we have then is some uh, stickers. Yeah, you have some stickers so you can sticker it and know which one of your guys belongs to your team and which one is uh, from uh, uh, opposing team, but you really don't need to use this because they are permanent and I don't think you want to do that. Then we have Let's go with uh, how to play rulebook. So this rulebook is really great, 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 uh, greatly uh, written rulebook. I don't have words <laughs> right for it. And it really tells you everything. How to play a game, it gives you all the examples you're gonna need. Uh, and it, it, looks, it looks maybe intimidating, but most of these, as you can see, are just pictures and explaining what's happening in pictures. So you understand how the, this, this is the rules and this is all how that rules are working in a game. We, we had a lot of questions while we were playing the game and all of these rulebooks really explain that for us. And then there's some fluff and uh, some, if I'm not mistaken, this like promo for some comic book or something like that. And then there's this uh, fluff story where you can uh, know each character, where it came from and why is he here, why is he fighting in this arena. And uh, they can even you you can even use these as a template for painting miniatures that I might just do for this game because the miniatures. Let's talk about miniatures. Now, if you ever want a game with an awesome miniature miniatures, this is the game. I'll show you each and every one of these in a closer detail. So first of all, we have this guy called. Maximus. I don't know if my camera is going to zoom. Let me just try and zoom it like so. Okay. This miniature looks so great. So much detail. I mean, check this out. And I'll show you each and every one of them because they really deserve it. They really deserve to be shown. Like, there are so much details in these miniatures you wouldn't believe. And let's then continue with this guy this eight ball or I, I don't know their names i won't talk to you about their names let me just see if i can zoom it okay really really nice looking miniatures really looking cool and let's continue let me pick them all up it would be much easier that way okay first of all we have this one over here with detached legs and this one is cool, she can run really fast. I really like how she plays. And we have this Gatto or Cat Girl. Not sure, let me just zoom it. Okay, did I manage to zoom? I hope I did. As I told you, they are really nice looking miniatures with great poses. Do you see how active they are? They are not just standing there like some trees. They're doing actually something like this guy, as you can see, his robes are flying all around because he's in a stance, in a pose. I mean, look how great these miniatures. And this guy, this guy will shoot you down. He can even shoot when you shoot at him. With, with great, he, he can even deal more damage to you than you can to him. So you have to be very careful. And check out this sniper. Check out this pose. How she's leaning her leg on a some something i don't know what it is don't you see how awesome this looks really really great okay and that's that that's everything that comes in a box of aristea okay so that was aristea by corvus belly uh, and uh, did you see these miniatures my god these miniatures are awesome uh all do I like the game? Yes, I really like the game. Do I like miniatures? I adore miniatures. Uh, gameplay, fantastic. This game hits all over the places for me. All the things I like in games, this one just hits it. Um, 
long ago, not so long ago, but two or three years ago, I was really uh, all in uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Some 40k, but not that much. I was in a fantasy. And we discovered Infinity, the game, which is a skirmish based game with such cool miniatures, with great poses. They were uh, like from. Uh, to, to defer them from fantasy. Fantasy was like rank and file models standing like this. And, and this one was there running and jumping and legs all over hands. And the game looked really awesome, but it was really complicated. The game had so much rules and, and they were jumping from there to there with rules. It was really complicated for us to follow. And when this game came out, uh, which is in the same universe as Infinity, uh, I thought, wow, just please don't be that complicated like Infinity. I really wish to enjoy those miniatures, but on a more easy to understand rules scale. And this game really did it. This game really does it and, and it did it so good. If you want to beat your friends and, and one to one, one on one in, in, in any game, this is game to go. Hands down the best, I could say, MOBA game on the market right now. Uh, it's It's really... You get your four characters, he gets his four characters, and you just get at each other. And you might think, ah, uh, oh, but there's like just eight characters. It's all the time the same characters over and over fighting each other. Well, you are wrong there because they plan on adding packs of four miniatures uh, each. I think there will be like four each year. Each three months they will add four new characters. Four, not three, four new characters which will expand this game even further and then you can draft pick your players and there's always four against four and and game is really good i like that card play custom dice did you see those gorgeous dice those dice look awesome and then when you involve them with all that card play and and uh, modifying the scores with uh, and it's, it's just awesome game i i really enjoyed it I am looking forward to play some more this game, even with, with new guys when they come out, of course. And uh, to paint those miniatures, it would be a delight. So you might just see a video of me painting these miniatures. Overall, I really like the game. I think you should definitely check this out if you are into these kind of things. If you like great miniatures, if you like conflict between players in a two-player game. Uh, definitely check it out, Aristea by Corvus Belly. And if you want to stay and shoot around and see some more of my videos, there are some of them right over there, and don't uh, miss on the giveaways and stuff I do around this channel, so there is a subscription button right down there. And until next time, Pozdrav!